What is up everybody? It is Wick here and I'm hitting a couple yard sales this morning and then a rummage sale. Pretty exciting morning. I even hit some thrift stores today. Digging through a box of toys at a yard sale right now. Got a wrestling belt, not really an old one. Left it, had a name written on it. And it got Ground Chuck, a vintage Ninja Turtles figure for a dollar. So I went ahead and grabbed that. Got some other Ninja Turtles figures, but you know what? They're not old. I'm not really interested in those. Some of these other toys I could have picked up, um, they had different prices on them. A dollar, I think all the way up to five dollars, some of them. Here is a Ben 10 figure for a dollar. And Ben 10 figures are pretty good, especially if you're doing a lot. I just sold a bunch of toys, Ben 10 toys, actually. So, yeah, happy to grab that. Other than that, I don't think there's anything else I got here at this sale, but I go to the next one. As soon as I turn on the camera, I notice there's some bins of video games. Lots of video games. Get pretty excited. $2 a piece. However, all of the good games was the game was missing. There was a tote on top of the shelf that had all the Mario's, Zelda's, everything good. I opened every one, missing the game. The lady told me that she was holding the cases because she's hoping to find the games. I did pick up a few things here. Uh, but pretty disappointing there. But I get to this rummage sale and I wasn't very excited coming here because they had this sale earlier in the year and it was basically just one room with not very good stuff. And you know what? I didn't even bring my bag in. I was going to bring my GoPro mount. I said, you know what? It's not worth it. I get inside though and it's big this time. There's a lot of stuff. I'm rushing over here to the electronics table because I see that I would be the first one to look at it. And we got some decent electronics. You see there's a typewriter back there. A pretty decent monitor, I'm pretty sure. Some of this stuff I wasn't that interested in right away because I didn't know the prices of this stuff. Turns out I find out everything is only a dollar. So I could have grabbed that monitor. I could have grabbed some that typewriter for a dollar. Um, <laughs> unfortunate there. Uh, but I did get some things, um, some smaller items, really good see these shoes here and i'm like wow these are these are some pretty good nike and i see another pair of really good nike shoes i'm like whoa these are only a dollar starts clicking in my head um so i'm just grabbing these these shoes i'm kicking myself for not bringing in the bag um you know i'm a realist i'm not negative i didn't come to this sale being negative i, I came to it knowing that just from experience from before, it was probably going to be small. They were probably going to be selling the same stuff that didn't sell. The last sale was in my head. So um, I should have brought my bag in anyway. That's my fault. <laughs> There's no reason not to. It was sitting literally in my car. Um, I don't know why I didn't, but it, it, just, it didn't turn out to be that big of a mistake because it, it wasn't that crowded in here. You may have seen there I picked up that razor since it was a dollar. Uh, that's one I used. So I went ahead and grabbed it, saved a little bit of money. Got a lot of clothing, but I'm not ready to start looking at the clothing quite yet. I want to make sure I'm not missing any hard goods. Since I realized everything's a dollar now, um, I want to focus back on the electronics, but my electronics rival was there and he pretty much cleaned off that whole table, filled up his car. Um, not a whole lot of stuff I really wanted that bad or I would have picked it up right away, right? Like the typewriter, five disc DVD changer, not that interested in those. It was a Magnavox for a dollar maybe just for the remotes but we got a jordan box here with some ncis uh dvds now that set would have been worth picking up i opened up one box set and it was first one i checked was missing a dvd that was enough for me to pass on them however i did pick up a lot of stargate the whole complete all the seasons of stargate uh that was on the bottom there so happy to pick up those uh, I even grabbed that Jordan box just in case it was for a use size that wasn't worth much. There's a Wii game I grabbed. Uh, the only video game I saw, unfortunately. One day I'm going to come to one of these rummage sales. It's going to be filled with Super Nintendo games or something like that. And it's going to be the best day of my life. So I find a little basket. I'm like, my hands are filled. I'm going to start putting this stuff in this basket. I ended up taking all my stuff up to the front eventually. So you got my, my uh, I call him my electronics rival. I see him every morning. He buys a lot of electronics. And yeah, he's pretty much claimed that whole table. Um, that's fine. I did get a few, few of the smaller electronics I got actually very valuable, probably more valuable than all that stuff. I get back over to the shoes and I missed a pair of Nikes apparently. I think there's a woman standing there. 
Um, grab those. Some more LeBrons. Uh, we got some other good shoe deals here. I, I went back to these shoes like three or four times. And I kept seeing shoes that I was missing. I did leave some Nike shoes, some New Balance shoes here that were a little more beat up, a little more low end. Uh, with everything a dollar, it's kind of insane. Like, like especially with you go to some sales, they would have that TV over there that was smaller. You know, they'd have it priced 10, 20 bucks. But with everything a dollar, um, yeah, all of a sudden that kind of stuff's worth picking up maybe. Uh, even if you just want to flip it locally. So it's time to go over to the clothes. I see a bunch of hats up in these racks. Get pretty excited about that. Uh, you know I love finding vintage hats. The, the cooler the better at rummage sales. I've had very good luck this year finding hats at rummage sales. If you haven't seen all my rummage sale videos, make sure you go back, watch them all. It's been a great year. Uh, what do we got back here? I see something very exciting. I thought this was a, a really vintage, amazing hat. I didn't even hesitate to, <laughs> to even pay much attention to it, uh, but it's a newer one with tags. It's also got a a business on there. They they tend to not be worth that much, but you know, at first I thought it was a two three hundred dollar hat. Over here, I spot this Hornets Apex One vintage jacket. Really cool. This is hundred dollar plus jacket easily. Only a dollar. There's a campus uh, puffer jacket I was gonna pick up. Uh, I w ended up walking away to look it up. I should have just grabbed it. It was a dollar, right? Because I thought that might be worth picking up. It's worth about $40. However, there was a, a lady that collapsed over beside it. And they had to call the ambulance. I didn't want to go over there and look on that rack with her laying there. And that's just not appropriate. So I don't know if someone ended up buying that or what. Um, not, not a big deal. So, um, yeah, we're just digging through these clothes. Trying to score anything else i'm not seeing anything that really stands out you know the vintage sports stuff obviously i'm familiar with a lot of the you know women's clothes like that not really sweatshirts um logos stuff like that um, cosby like sweaters i might be looking for but yeah after finding that horns jacket pretty excited about looking through these clothes got a bill's sweatshirt here ended up passing on this had like a stain on it it's nothing very special uh, I think it was technically vintage, just nothing that's really, you know, worth my time to sell. I don't sell a lot of clothing that has, has to be pretty good stuff. Looking through the t-shirts and unfortunately not really anything else that I saw clothing wise, I don't think. Uh, but I've already filled like three garbage bags at this sale. Um, just so you're aware, I've been taking my stuff up to that table. Uh, the shoes alone are going to be uh, close to a grand. So it's turning out to be a very, very good sale. I come back over here and I see this iron. It's like a corded chargeable one. I looked it up real quick. It's selling for 30 and I thought, you know what? I don't need that. And I'm like, wait a minute. It's just a, it's only a dollar. If it's not holding a charge or not working, it's no big deal. So I did end up grabbing it. I ended up leaving a lot of stuff on purpose. Like there's a bread maker. I could have got for a dollar, uh, even if selling it for parts, I was only making like $10. Big stuff like that, I just didn't feel like hauling it all and dealing with it. So I did leave some stuff like that. But if I would have noticed a little bit earlier about everything being a dollar, uh, again, I could have picked up maybe that typewriter, uh, five disc Magnavox DVD changer, the little um, monitor, which looked like it was in pretty good shape a pretty uh, a newer one anyway so i go back over to the shoes uh i don't know do i pick up any shoes this round i know i picked up some nice new balance shoes um is that them maybe this is where i pick them up i pick up these answer to shoes you know they're the uh, like 30 dollars pair of shoes uh, i must have already picked up the new balance shoes uh check in just to make sure i don't want to miss anything check in these boots Took a little bit of time after I started finding stuff, because why not I have nowhere else to really be? So I just wanted to check things, make sure I wasn't leaving anything too obvious. <laughs> I'm sure somebody will point out something I, I missed. Uh, some more boots, but yeah, uh, that's about it for the rummage sale. And <laughs> there he is hauling all that stuff. You can see the table's about empty. He literally bought everything. I go over to Salvation Army though, and I see this fat loss monitor. 
and I look it up and on eBay and I'm like, oh, this is worth like 80 to hundred dollars used. I'll take it. However, I checked it on Amazon after this recording of the video. I can sell it for $200 plus used on Amazon. That's where I'm going to be selling it. Um, in the haul part, when I talk about it, I, you know, I, I just mentioned I'm going to be selling it on eBay. No, I'm going to sell it used on Amazon. They're selling new for around $300. So I don't know what it is about. It has a good rank as well. Good positive reviews. So I'm very confident I will get that used sale on Amazon. Probably price it about 200, 225 on there. Uh, got the box and everything. Perfect Amazon FBA candidate. Just checking Salvation Army, make sure I don't miss anything else. But there was actually a brand new new wave here. Somebody had put in their cart. It was half off, but they ended up putting it back. So I grabbed it. Uh, it's at the counter right now. I also grabbed a plush that I paid $45 for. I'll show you that when I get home. It's also at the desk. Looking through the clothing, I spot something really nice. This vintage guest sweatshirt. I see the date on there is 1986. That's an easy buy. Don't remember if that was actually half off. I don't think it was. Coca-Cola uh, vintage sweatshirt. Not really a great pickup for me anyway. You might be able to sell it, make some money. Uh, nothing that, you know, is worth $50, $60. Kind of the kind of stuff I'm looking for. Just browsing the clothing. Nothing else. Ended up doing all right in Salvation Army. But I head over to the church thrift store and they have opened up their Christmas store, which is right next door. Right around Christmas time, they open a store that's just all Christmas. Uh, this might be the first day it opened, uh, maybe the, only the second, first or second day. So usually when I come in here, uh, the past years, it's pretty well picked over uh, just because I come in later. Now it's really full, so I'm like, maybe I can find something cool, some vintage blow molds or something, even that kind of stuff. That's going to sell instantly, right? Uh, if it's out. Christmas plush. I'm looking mostly for vintage items like vintage snow globes, Disney snow globes, stuff like that. I did pick up a snow globe here, a Coca-Cola one. Uh, nothing great was over there on that other side. Uh, it just got all kinds of Christmas stuff. If you like Christmas, this is would be the place for you. I'm looking for the clothing though because I want to see if they have any cool sweatshirts. They did not. It was mostly like Christmas pajamas and stuff. Very weird. Uh, you can find some really good deals on Christmas sweaters. Uh, so we stop in Goodwill. Just doing some local stores today. And right here, kind of crazy. $2.99 for a brand new sealed Chromecast. Those are the type of things Goodwill usually overprices. You have that football there. Uh, what is it? Like a casserole pot or something. Uh, not worth picking up really. You can make a little bit of money if they're priced cheap enough. Uh, they got the box and everything. Maybe I'd pick it up. You got to test them. Uh, I just, I don't want to deal with it for such little profits. I've come across them before. Here is a bag of like markers and pens. Don't sleep on that kind of stuff. Check them because there's some ink pens, fountain pens. They sell for thousands of dollars. Uh, I've, I've sold some in the hundreds. Uh, I've mentioned before in previous videos, I can't think of the names right now because my brain doesn't work properly anymore. But you can do a search for vintage ink pens and you'll see a lot of them. Chicken booty chase, uh, teaching kids to ch chase after chicken booty, I guess. I, I do not know <laughs> some of the games they come up with. Uh, some of the kids' toys is just so bizarre to me. But we got... Uh, yeah, a stitch plush at this Goodwill, and that was about it. So let me show you what else I got. I am very excited about this haul. I think this is breaking some records. Probably the most money haul with the, the best rummage sale I've ever been to profit-wise at one sale. Got some really good high-quality items here. It's going to be fun to add it up. We also got some hats over here. So some good stuff to go over. Let's just jump into it. Uh, up here, actually, first is a Salvation Army pickup for 
what did I say, $4.99. This thing was actually selling between $80 and $100. So it is opened. But I'm pretty sure the pre-owned ones were $80 to $100. So most certainly pick that up. Going to be some great profit on that. Got a Wagner Power Steamer. If you're an Amazon seller, these things are great to sell. I'll be able to make about $80 profit on this in the end. I think I've sold three of these this year. And I probably already mentioned in the preview footage, um, I only paid a dollar for the stuff at the rummage sale. Everything was a dollar. I didn't know that until a little bit into the rummage sale or I could have picked up some really incredible items. Saw some TVs, some monitors, typewriters, stuff like that. I could have added hundreds of dollars to this haul probably. I, I left some things on purpose too, like a bread maker. I could have parted out and made some money. It just wasn't that great. I didn't want to deal with it. Below it here is another uh, Salvation Army pickup. It was half off, price $65. So paid half of that. It's a brand new, new wave. I just sold one of these recently. I picked up at a church rummage sale. Sold it new open box. I got $70 plus shipping for it. And it was actually missing the pizza cutting board that was supposed to go with it. This one is not the model that has a pizza cutting board. So I don't have to worry about that. It's wrapped up. It's complete in there. Uh, I'm probably selling it for about $80 this model. So in the end, you know, make about $40 profit on that. At the rummage sale, I picked up all of the Stargate, uh, the whole collection here. I asked the lady if it, they were going to charge me a dollar a piece or just a dollar per box set. She said a dollar per box set. The complete set like this uh, looks like they're selling between $60 $70. Media mail shipping, so it won't be that bad. But we also got the Stargate Atlantis complete set, which is selling for about $40 $50. And we got some random movies or collection sets, which I'll just bundle in with one of uh, these sets here. Don't have much money into it. By the way, everything at the rummage set was only $27. I handed her 30 and I said, keep the change, please. And she kept trying to give me the change. And I said, no, just, just keep it. I'm getting good deals here. Um, just crazy. You don't see that kind of stuff at Goodwill. In fact, they ask you to round up and donate more. And it's just like, I just spent like 200 and some dollars in your store. Like, what's that going to? Anyway, let's not get into that subject. Great profit on the DVDs. I picked up this razor for a dollar just for personal use. But when it's sunny, it's actually, it seems like you don't see the stuff as good because of the shadows. <laughs> Hopefully it's showing up okay. Yeah, you know, it's something I use. These things I think are over $10 new. Since this was a dollar, I picked up this iron at the rummage sale. It looked like it was selling for about $30 plus shipping pre-owned. Uh, you can either use it corded or it charges. So pretty low risk if it doesn't work or the battery doesn't hold a charge. Selling it for $30 plus shipping um, makes it worth it. So now we get into the meat of the haul are these Nike shoes. Uh, some really good stuff here. I saw them. I kept picking them up. I kept going back uh, to the desk. I come back and I see another pair I didn't see before. So I grabbed those. I initially only grabbed two or three pairs of shoes. Um, and then you know the rest of them I just kind of grabbed later when I walked by again. But I'll try to remember here. I think these uh, there's three different LeBron shoes. They are all, um, I think, 12s, but they're all different versions of those. And by the way, these are very clean condition, uh, except for one pair. It's got a little bit of wear on them. They don't seem to be counterfeit. They're really good quality and everything. The tag looks legit from what I know. So I'm not worried about that. It just looks like someone's you know shoe collection was donated to this rummage sale. I saw a pair of these pre-owned sell for 200. There's some selling for 100. It's also in sale for 125. At first, I thought these were youth size, uh, so I was like, oh, they're not going to be that great of money, but no, they're size like eight and nine. Uh, the reason I thought they were youth size is I saw a Jordan box there that they had some DVDs in that was uh, size seven youth. But yeah, I'm probably going to price these about 120, 150. And we got some more here. Uh, these were selling uh, 200. There's even some comps for 300 on those. I think that's the pair. I'm probably pricing those minimum $200. These are Kobe's. These are the ones that have a little bit more wear on them. Uh, but still, I think they'll clean up pretty decent. They don't have any major damage. Should be to sell those for a hundred plus dollars. These, however, you know, a little disappointing. Um, I say disappointing, but they're great shoes. I'll be able to sell these for fifty, sixty dollars plus shipping. Uh, they're just lower than the other ones for whatever reason. Still very good condition. Only paying a dollar a pair on these. Uh, we got some New Balance umpire shoes. These are in actually really good condition as well. They're just a little dusty from play. The tags look good on them. No major damage. Uh, these will sell for over $100. There's currently no listings for these. And there's like seven comps, which is a great sign. People will buy these. Then I just picked up some of these Answer 2 shoes. Uh, they're, you know, solid, okay sellers. They don't sell great. But for a dollar, um, I'll be able to sell them for 25 plus shipping. So let me add it up and I'll throw a total for all these shoes on the screen. So I picked up some games at a yard sale I stopped at. 
Uh, you can see what they have there. Unfortunately, all the good games was missing the games, just empty cases. She said she was going to hang on to the cases in case she found the games. So, you know, it is what it is. I picked up some okay stuff. These Lego games, I'm just going to bundle together. You know, I'll probably make about, I don't know, $15 profit in the end. Uh, the two Pac-Man games, actually Pac-Man World 3 is pretty decent. I think it's $20 by itself. Uh, I think Luigi's Mansion is about $15. Turtles, nah, not really worth much. Get ready to do some Wii bundles for the holiday season. So, you know, some of these lower end Wii games, I'll just bundle. I also got one at the rummage sale, this uh, Summer Sports 2. Again, you know, I could make $5 on it maybe. Probably just do a bundle when I sell a Wii. Uh, at the other yard sale, I picked up a couple figures. And uh, one's from Turtles, one's from Ben 10. Uh, they're both around $12, $15 figures for a dollar. I just went and picked them up. I think this is the only Goodwill find of the day, maybe. Uh, <laughs> this Google Chromecast sealed. Only $2.99, though. That blows my mind. This is one of those things you think Goodwill would just price $20. And, you know, tomorrow they might price it $20. It just depends on the person. But I'll be able to sell it for about $25, $30. Bucks. I think it's the second edition. At the rummage sale, we got this incredible Apex Charlotte jacket. Amazing condition. It's got a little bit of dirt and fuzz on it there. But these are pretty sought-after jackets. And this one's pretty rare. I think there's only 14 people selling different versions of this right now. And the comps were anywhere between $100, $200. It looked like some of our best offers, so I couldn't tell. This is something I'm going to price $150. And it's going to sit until someone buys it. I have no problem listing vintage and letting it sit for years. This stuff, you know, it's getting harder and harder to find. It's not going down in value. It doesn't take up a whole lot of space to store it. I'm looking for top dollar. Plus, I think it's cool and I... Love to just hang on to it a little bit. Got a really good Sony Walkman model here. I did a quick look up. Seemed like it was 80 to to $100 for this model. Uh, does it have the belt clip, unfortunately, it looks like? Or did it have one? Yeah, I think it did. Still, even for parts, you're not going wrong for a dollar. I paid up for this Steiff Bear uh, German. $89.99. I didn't pay that. It was half off. Last week, I came in and she was putting this out. Asked me if I wanted it, and she said it was worth $1,200. And I was just like, I don't think it's worth $1,200. And I looked it up, and I told her, some of them are selling. It looked like new for around $180. I don't know where she got $1,200 from, but uh, I waited until it was half off. And I said, you know what? I'll go ahead and pay the half off. One sold, I looked on Terrapeak, uh, for about $130 on auction. That was without the box and stuff. Uh, and really no other comps except from the United Kingdom uh, where one sold new for like 180 some dollars. It's got the paperwork in there, the box, even though the box is really big compared to the bear. It's just a poo bear, if you can see there. It's got the tags on it. It's very clean. I'm probably just going to price it $150 and, you know, eventually I expect to get a sale. Minolta X700 camera. I've sold these before. The lens, I uh, may have been charged separate for the lens. I don't know. Everything was a dollar. Oh no, I paid two dollars for this. It's an outrage. Yeah, I should be able to sell this for about $160 um, on eBay. No problem. Oh, we almost forgot the stitch back here. Um, Christmas version. Picked them up at a Goodwill uh, for three dollars. Christmas is coming up. Look like maybe couldn't find this exact one, but it looks like maybe just $20 is what I'll sell it for. A little bread and butter item. Yeah, Salvation Army. I picked up this vintage 1986 Guess men's sweatshirt. Again, vintage. I'll probably price this $30, $40. The neck is stretched on it. Otherwise, it's in great condition. It uh, doesn't really matter. People that buy this kind of stuff, they know how to fix that. It's not that big of a issue. They just want the, you know, the 80s guest stuff. Unfortunately, the guest uh, logo here isn't really colorful like some of them, but uh, still it's going to be great profit. And then over here, I picked up some hats. No absolutely amazing hats, unfortunately, like the shoes uh, and the jacket. Still some decent stuff. Back here, we got this John Deere hat, which I was very excited when I first saw it. Then I saw it had the location on there. It didn't look like a newer tag. Plus, it's uh, falling apart inside. The foam is, you know, it's just crumbly. Since it has a business on it, it's not going to sell that great. I went and picked it up anyway. Vintage Ford hat. Looks like this hat's selling for about $20, $25. Or at least some versions of this hat. So, probably price at $25. Free shipping. Here is Kodiak Racing Hat. There's a, a nice green version of this hat that sells for a couple hundred bucks. I thought this one was going to be a bit better, but you know what? It looks like it's probably a $20 hat uh, with this logo being white like this. Not sure why the other one's so desirable. I guess maybe it's more vintage. Still for, you know, $20 sale for paying a dollar. So that's 50 cents, but you know, 
I don't think that's from the actual rummage sale. Picked up another racing hat. These aren't really big movers or anything, but I got a few just basic hats like this. I might do a lot and just sell them. EIS brake parts didn't seem like anything great. Uh, very good condition. Vintage foam hat, trucker hats though. So I, I think somebody will want them. Again, I don't remember. 15, 20 bucks. Waterloo. I didn't really see any comps for this. Um, pretty good condition though. North Carolina destination hat. It's got a bunch of the rotting foam leftovers from the John Deere hat on there. But some of these destination hats, vintage, they do pretty well. 15, 20 bucks. If anyone knows what this hat is, um, let me know. I did Google lens on the logo here and I couldn't actually find this logo. So I don't know what it goes to actually. It's very familiar though. Uh, but yeah, I don't know, 15, 20 bucks, even just because it has that vintage cool look. It might be Wonder Woman. Is it Wonder Woman? Is that what I'm thinking? I don't think so. Why would this, why would there be a Wonder Woman hat? <laughs> vintage like this trucker hat. Oop, almost forgot. Another John Deere hat, 50 years anniversary hat. I don't know if it's actually from 97. Has the tags, but they look newer. Comps on this one, again, not great. 15, 20 bucks. And then finally, at the church rummage sale, the Christmas store opened up and I found this Coca-Cola snow globe. It seems to be in great condition. The water's a little yellow. I just never seem to find good snow globes. Uh, every time I do, they're damaged. I find a nice Disney one and it's just pieces broken off of it or the glass is cracked, whatever it is. I think this one was selling for 25, 30 bucks plus shipping. Paid $2 for it, so I went ahead and grabbed it. There it is, everybody. That is the haul for today. Some amazing stuff here. So happy to find all these shoes. We've had a lot of $1,000 plus hauls this year, but you know what? For one rummage sale, uh, this might end up being the best sale of the year. Maybe the best sale in any of my videos. I have like, what, 500 videos or something like that over the past decade. So it just may be uh, one of the best right here. And I was going into this sale thinking I wasn't gonna find anything. But if you enjoyed it, hit that like button for me. You can find me on Twitter, Instagram, flipping underscore junk. And this has been Wick. Till next time.